Hello and welcome to the September quarter review of the Investmark Balance Portfolio. Very much having a look here at the holdings and you can see very clearly that we are almost basically looking at a 50-50 weight between defensive assets and also growth. However, the growth side of the portfolio performed incredibly strongly in the third quarter. And once again, the Vanguard MSCI Index for International Shares ETF, the VGS, contributed the most to the overall performance. It added 1.83%. And that in the main is down to the fact that 63% of the VGS is actually exposed to the US. And the US markets had their best quarter since December 3rd. That we expect to continue on as well as if you have a look at their overall economic outlook for 2019 and 20 and the back quarter of this year, growth is very high, employment is moving in the right direction, wage inflation is also there and we then have a look at forward looking indicators like the ISM manufacturing index and non-manufacturing, they are actually at record. So we expect that part of the growth portfolio to continue to move forward and why on the balance side it will happen. I'm having a look at the other side of growth assets being the Australian domestic equities and having a look at the iShares core S&P ASX 200, it only contributed around about 0.41 of 1% and that was unfortunate because it was actually quite a strong earnings season season when we have a look back in August. But overall, there were other things that drove our market down, unfortunately. Things like the US-China trade wars on a political level. You also saw the Banking Royal Commission really taking its toll on the financial side, which is quite a substantial holding in that, in that number. And then finally, September was actually ex-dividend trading. Unfortunately, we probably see the ASX underperforming, particularly the US market, into the final quarter of the year. The, the issues that we just mentioned are likely to spill over. There's also likely to be a bit of a question about whether or not there is a little bit too much value in other areas, particularly the healthcare space, which has started already in this quarter on a negative downside. Having a look at the defensive assets of the portfolio and looking at property and also at the bond side, it did actually perform quite well on a defensive asset per sort of delegation. We do want to see them providing a bit of a buffer to volatility. We want to see them actually holding the line as much as we can and property added 0.23 of 1%, bonds added 1.1 of 1%, which is what we want to see. And the Australian bond market particularly was quite steadfast in the third quarter, despite the fact that its US peers actually had a marketed decline as the Federal Reserve increased the federal funds rate by 25 basis points for the eighth time in the last three years. US bonds are actually moving down quite quickly and it is good to see that the defensive side is actually holding up quite strongly and we expect that to continue into the fourth quarter. Therefore, having a look at the final quarter of 2018, we do expect, as we've already mentioned, that the VGS will probably be the outperformer and will be the main attributor to the whole overall market. The holdings, we don't expect to change very much at all. The current weightings, we believe, are correctly weighted in this current market. And again, the advantage of the balanced portfolio is that it gives you that buffer against volatility, but also enough exposure to growth to see good return.